Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we will cover a variety of basic and advanced procedures in the Challenger 650's FMS for X-Plan 11. These procedures apply to the FMS 3000, 5000, and 6000 series found in other Collins Proline 4 and 21 equipped aircraft. There may be slight menu format differences from aircraft to aircraft. There may be situations where you fly to an airport and there are no available instrument approaches for your intended runway of landing, or the single instrument approach is notumed out of service. We can load a visual approach giving us lateral navigation and a pseudo glide slope to the runway. Press the departure arrival key. If arrivals for the destination airport do not appear, press the key a second time. Select arrive for the destination airport. Select the desired visual approach. They are located at the end of all instrument approaches. An RX waypoint is created on the extended centerline of the runway 5 nautical miles from the threshold. Enter a different distance if desired up to and including 25 nautical miles. Verify the waypoints, resolve discontinuities, and press execute. Let's look at how to add a holding pattern in the FMS. Press index, then hold on the right side. From the legs page, copy the desired holding waypoint to the scratch pad and then paste it to hold at L6. In this example, we're going to hold at comma intersection. Verify the holding parameters such as inbound course, leg time, distance, etc and change them as necessary. Verify the hold on the legs page and or MFD map, and then press execute. To exit the hold, you can either choose direct to another fix, or choose the exit hold option on the legs page, and then press execute. The exit hold option will immediately create a course directly back to the holding fix. For example, if the aircraft is just turning outbound, it will continue one long turn back to the fix. The NFD holding picture will now be erasing behind the aircraft symbol to indicate the exit. To continue holding after exit is armed, choose Cancel Exit on the legs page and then press Execute. Here's how to go direct to a previous waypoint in your flight plan history. Press direct, then press the previous key. Select the desired waypoint on the left side and then press execute. Let's look at how to track a course inbound using the intercept course function. In addition to intercepting an ATC instructed course to a specific waypoint, this is a very useful feature to set up an extended center line on an instrument approach. First, press the direct key. Select the desired waypoint. Type the desired intercept course into the scratch pad. Paste to intercept course R6. You'll notice the intercept course number become bigger. Verify the course on the legs page and or MFD map and press execute. Next, we will look at tracking a course outbound from a specific waypoint. 
In this example, we are just to the southwest of the Will Rogers VOR, India Romeo Whiskey, in the Oklahoma City area. We will track the 310 degree radial from the VOR until further instructed. Start by ensuring the reference waypoint is in the legs page. Type the required information into the scratch pad in the following format. Place bearing slash distance. In this example, India Romeo Whiskey 310 slash distance. If tracking the course until further vectors, an unknown distance, enter a larger distance to draw an extended center line. In this case, we will use 50 nautical miles. Next, paste that in the legs page after the reference waypoint, India Romeo Whiskey. Verify the waypoint on the legs page and or MFD map and press execute. And don't forget to press the nav button on the flight guidance panel to arm and eventually intercept the actual course. Next, we will look at navigating to an unnamed intersection based on courses from known waypoints such as VORs. In this example, we are about 40 miles to the west of Memphis, Tennessee. Because of traffic inbound to Memphis from the west, ATC has instructed us to navigate to an arbitrary point to the northwest. In this case, it is where the Little Rock 040 degree radial and the Memphis 300 degree radial converge. First, type the required information for the reference radials into the scratch pad in the following format. Place bearing slash place bearing. In this case, LIT 040 slash MEM 300. Next, paste that in the legs page at the appropriate location. Verify the waypoint on the legs page and or MFD map and then press execute. Let's look at the Fix Info page. This feature is a nice tool for situational awareness, such as setting up a reminder as you approach a radial or distance from a specific waypoint. Start by pressing the index key. Press Fix on the right side. Paste the desired reference fix in ref L1. Enter either crossing radial L2 or crossing distance L3, but you cannot have both. Verify the dashed reference line radial or dashed circle distance on the MFD map. Note, a small circle will be surrounding the selected reference fix that is not related to any crossing distance information. Another handy feature is the ability to store and retrieve flight plans for common routes. This is particularly useful if you manage one or more Challenger 650s and use the FBO function. After creating a flight plan, press Index, Route Menu, and then Pilot Route List. Name the flight plan and then press ACT or SEC Store. ACT for active and SEC for secondary. You have now saved a flight plan. To retrieve a stored flight plan, go to the pilot route list, as previously discussed, and select the desired flight plan. Verify the data, press Activate, and then Execute to make it the active flight plan. Alright, I hope you found this video useful. Some of these features may not be relevant for your flight sim operation, but keep in mind these features in the Hot Start Challenger 650 are a testament to the amount of detail and hard work the team has put into this aircraft. Drop any questions below in the comment section. Thanks for watching.